why couldn't I wait and how can I control myself? These are, these are the questions. Now we'll go to Sri Krishna's answer and see what he has to say. Chapter 3, two verses I'll take up. Basically what he's saying is this. He's saying that um, there are two levels in our activities. One is at the level of our subconscious minds. He calls it Prakriti or Samskaras. So there is a level which is below our, our level of our consciousness and here we have tendencies. We have, it is, you can call it Samskaras or Prakriti. Prakriti simply means nature of an individ individual. What does this consist of? It says it consists of Raga Dvesha, liking and disliking. Raga and Dvesha. Raga means attachments, likings. I want, I want. Dvesha, I dislike. What do I want? What do I dislike? It depends upon you. Your habits. If you are a believer in uh, rebirth theory, so the idea is that we have accumulated a lot of tendencies throughout our lives. If you don't believe in that also, that's perfectly all right. From childhood onwards, we have developed in a particular way. So we have liking for certain food, certain environment, certain activities, books, games, so whatever, certain people, and we have dislikes, certain environment, certain food, certain kind of people, we, dislike, we have dislikes. And these differ from people, person, uh, person to person. And these are deep rooted. We are not often aware of this. It's below the level of our conscious awareness. This is one stage. The second stage is, when we interact with the world, what happens is, we have, we have a reaction. It comes from here, and we, we think something, we say something, and we do certain things. So these are, these are the level of, this is the conscious level, the level of conscious activities already expressed. This is, this is not expressed, sub unconscious, this is conscious and expressed. At this level it is too late. Already, you know, I am dieting, I want to control, watch my weight, I have this delicious pastry in front of me, I like it, I eat it up. And then later I regret it, I had thought I would not eat this, but I have now eaten it. So what happened was, here is a raga, here is a raga, and you see this attractive object X in front of you, and you think I want it, you order it, give me one, and eat it up. And then you regret it because you decided not to take this actually. This is what is happening all the time. It happened to Duryodhana, it happened to the little kids and Arjuna is asking why does it happen? It happens because of this. From our samskaras directly this is expressed. And Sri Krishna says this in third chapter in the shloka number 33. He says, Sadrisham cheshtate swasya prakrite jnanavanapi prakritim yanti bhutani nigraha kim karishyati. Very interesting shloka. He says, Sadrisham cheshtate swasya prakrite jnanavanapi. A person who is a jnani, who has read the shastras, I want to lead my life in this particular way. I want to meditate, realize God, and I want to um, have daily meditation, exercise, have a fit body, I want to do my studies in this particular way. Everything is there. Jnanavan. He is aware of what he wants to do, he or she. But, prakriti he says, Sadrisham cheshtate swasya, prakriti jnanavan api, prakriti is this one. Sadrisham means according to prakriti. Even this person who is very alert, he works according to prakriti. Prakriti yanti bhutani nigraha kim karishyati. Such an interesting uh, comment by Sri Krishna. People act according to their natures. What can self-control do? Nigraha kim karishyati. And the immediate doubt which is raised in all the commentaries is, if self-control is of no use, then um, what is the point of all this meditation and yoga and all spiritual practices? And they raise this doubt. Then what is the point of all this? What he is saying is, we have this prakriti and then it is expressed. At this level it is unconscious, you are not aware of it, you cannot do anything. At this level it is already expressed. You may stop it once, very, very difficult to stop. You may stop it once, next time you will fail. You fail twice, maybe succeed once and you get frustrated. It goes on like this. What is the way out? Sri Krishna says, in the 34th verse he gives the 
secret. Indriyasya indriyasya arthe raga dvesha vyavasthitav. Tayorna vashama agachet tauhi asya paripanthi nau. 3.34 The secret is here. He says, between these two levels, are we clear about these two levels? One is the uh, subconscious level, samskara, this one, prakriti. And the next one is action, karma. He calls this the uncontrollable le uh, level, it is a conscious level. It is conscious but difficult to control. And this is unconscious but um, because it is unconscious you cannot control it, you are not aware of it. So this is, the, he says this is the third level and this is the first level and says the secret is, Sri Krishna gives, this is the important point, the whole lecture this is the mo most important point. He says the secret is between these two levels there is another level. There is another level and he says this Raga Dvesha, it comes in a conscious level and this is the second level, this is controllable. What he says is, from here the action goes here and from here to third level. From the first level, unconscious level, there is a small conscious gap when you become aware of likes and dislikes coming up, boiling up from within. Before it takes on the form of a strong desire, thoughts or you already say something, a flash of anger comes and you hurl an insult at somebody, later on you are going to regret it for be behaving like that. I need not have said that, you feel that. But you already said it. At that level it is very difficult to control. You know, he says I became so angry, I was burning up from the top of my head <laughs> to my toes. So that is already at this level, third level. But he says, Krishna says, at this level, this is, this is a gap, there is a conscious gap, a window of opportunity. At that level, you can control it. At that level, you can control it. You can consciously control it. What he is saying is this. Raga Dvesha, likes and dislikes, according to our sense organs, Indriyasya Indriyasya Arthe means the earlier shloka. What it means is, each Indriya has its Vishaya. Indriya means sense organ. So, eyes have, Chakshu has its Vishaya as form. These are forms. Ears, Shabda. Tongue, taste, rasa. Like this, the five Indriyas have their Vishaya. Indriyasya Indriyasya Arthe Raga Dvesha Vyavasthito. Each of them have fixed likes and dislikes which are in your subconscious mind. There are certain forms I like, certain forms I do not like to see, uh, certain sounds which I like, certain things which I do not like to hear and so on. Certain things I like to taste, certain things I do not like to taste, all these are our conditioning and they are expressed in action, in karma. Between these two levels, he says there is a third, there is a second level at which he says, Krishna says, what you can do is you can exercise conscious control. Like a traffic policeman, you know, you have a chaura here, there is a traffic policeman there. What he does is he controls traffic. Now you have a particular aim in life. So maybe it might be studies, it might be meditation, God realization, whatever. You know very well, just like Duryodhana said. I know what is right and what is wrong. How do you know what is right and wrong? According to your aim of life, there are certain things which are right and certain things which are wrong. If a little child wants two marshmallows, the right thing is not to eat the marshmallow until sir comes back. And the wrong thing to do is to eat it up because you will not get the second marshmallow. In the same way, that is a very simplistic thing, but in the same way, it works for all of us. What is right and wrong in life, we know. Now, this policeman, this conscious level, what you have to do is, Whatever is coming from your subconscious, it will be in the form of think this, say this, do this. You filter it at this level. Certain things which are in accordance with your aim of life, what you want to do or what you want to be, those you allow, okay, pass and you are expressing as action. Certain things which are not in accordance with what you want in life, those you disallow, you divert them and you replace them with something good because you can't have a vacuum, you must think something, say something and do something. So there is a decision which you have to take. At this level there is a decision which you have to take. It is not all that complicated, my diagrams look very complicated. 
at this level you have to take a decision